Hi, I'm Jay Andrews with Laguna Tools. Today we're going to talk about our industrial line and specifically the S45 T Shaper. The S45 Shaper is truly an industrial piece of equipment. It features all the different elements that you need for a true custom shop for door and windows, for tenoning, and for doing moldings of all types. It features a sliding table, a tilting spindle, and mounts for power feed. The S45T can be operated as a standard shaper by using the fence, or it can be operated as a sliding table shaper. Currently, we have the tenoning table set up on the sliding table. The sliding table is a heavy cast iron design. It rides on large diameter bearings, and it's very smooth. It's perfect for doing tenoning work for doors or for doing cope cuts for picture frames and other items. The tenoning table can slide in and out on these slides. It also is outfitted with a miter gauge with stop and a heavy duty hole nail clamp. Now to demonstrate a typical tenoning job, I've slid this tenoning table closer to the spindle. We'll bring up our workpiece here, slide it up against the gauge, up against the stop, and clamp it in place. Finally, the guards will flip up out of the way. With your material safely locked on the tenoning table and extended toward the cutter head, you can easily slide this through the cutter head, cut your tenons with no fear of your workpiece kicking back. More complex joinery can be done by using the miter gauge. We have it set to 45 degrees. With our stock properly prepared, we can set it in the cast iron miter table and we can do either a finger joint or an angled tenon. The cast iron sliding table makes it very easy and vibration free. The sliding table with tenoning attachment is one of the best features of the S45T, but as we mentioned, it can also be used as a standard shaper for doing edge profiles. Let's go ahead and remove the tenoning table and set this up for standard shaper use. Now the next step to setting up the machine for straight linear work is to unlock the fence and slide the entire hood assembly forward to match your cutter head. Lock it in place. The infeed and outfeed fences are micro adjustable using the knobs at the rear of the hood assembly. And finally, the next thing you want to do is to adjust the fences inwards to minimize any gap toward the cutter head. Now that the infeed and outfeed fences are properly adjusted, you'll want to lower the guard and hold down assembly, lock it in place with a handle, and now you can feed your stock through the machine to put your edge profile onto your part. If you don't want to hand feed your material, you can use a power feeder. The S45T is pre-drilled for a power feeder. It's a universal mount and it'll greatly improve your workflow. As you can see, the S45 is truly an industrial machine from its solid cast iron tabletops to the solid steel blocks, solid steel shafts, and cast iron hood, this will ensure you vibration-free cuts. The controls for the S45T are conveniently located up on the front control panel. The start-stop switch, forward and reverse, as well as indicator lights for all five speeds for the S45T shaper. This ensures that you're in the proper speed range for the cutter head diameter that you're using. All of the spindle adjustments are on the side of the machine for your convenience. There's large diameter hand wheels with fold away handles. The lock for the spindle height is right in the center. This is on a geared arrangement to make adjusting the height of the spindle quick and easy. Numeric counters will give you the angle of the spindle as well as the height of the spindle. The lock for the spindle tilt is right here. And this is the control handle for the spindle tilt. Changing your tooling is a breeze on the S45. Simply push in the spindle lock, loosen your tooling, tighten the new tooling in place, and don't forget to pull this out before starting your machine. The S45T shaper is a five-speed shaper, and that ensures that your cutter head will be at the right RPM range for the diameter of your cutter head. To change the speed, simply grab the red handle, pull it, adjust the belt to the chart, and push the handle back in. Just that easy. Now we've seen all the basic features of the S45T, but one of my favorite features is the tilting spindle. This is the perfect feature for custom shops that have a variety of different types of applications.
Now that we've removed the concentric rings and put the tilting throw plate in place, we can go through and crank the handle and tilt the spindle. The spindle will tilt either 10 degrees forward or 45 degrees backwards. As you can see, the S45T packs plenty of features and plenty of power to tackle nearly any kind of job, whether you're a true commercial custom shop or a door and window shop. If you have any questions about any of the features on the S45T or any of our machines, feel free to give us a call toll free at 800-234-1976 or look us up on the web at lagunatools.com. You can also go over to our YouTube channel and view videos on this machine as well as all of our other machines. And don't forget to subscribe.